This demonstration is to show the difference between neat cement and cement that's had a cement conditioning additive added to it. We'll start with a mixing cup, water, blender, and cement. Now that we've thoroughly mixed our cement, we'll put it in a filter press. Look, without pressure, we already have water loss. Set the stopwatch and we'll pressure our filter press to 100 PSI. Under pressure, we're losing the water phase of the cement. This is similar to what can happen down hole. In about 31 seconds, we have totally dewatered the cement. There's no water left. Let's see what we have. We have dewatered the cement to a point where we have compacted solids. But we'll never create the crystalline structure and structural integrity necessary for a successful seal, support, and protection. Now for the second part of the demo, we'll see what happens when you add an engineered additive to a cement slurry. In this case, it's Bayrad 658. Again, we'll take a mixing cup, water, and first we'll add our additive, Bayrad 658. As we get this mixed, we'll add the cement. Again, we'll take our filter press, filter press cell, and add it the cement slurry and set it to 100 PSI. I want you to notice how flowable the slurry is when compared to the previous slurry without additive. Bayrad 658 not only provides filtration control, but it also makes the slurry easier to place and pump. As we start the timer, we already see a difference. With neat cement, we had water immediately, and yet we have not seen our first drop under 100 PSI when we have the Bayrad 658 added. Bayrad 658 will allow the cement to actually retain the water, hydrate, create the crystal structures that are necessary to truly form cement. This ensures we have a successful seal, successful support and protection. Now that we've let our filter press run for the full 30 minutes, we'll back off the pressure. We have a filtrate of 20 mils versus totally dewatered in our first sample. Let's open this up. I still have a flowable cement slurry. To recap what we've seen, when we put neat cement in the filter press, we were able to drive off all of the water in about 30 seconds. That gave us a very soft, unstable mass of compacted solids, essentially mush. It's important to remember that the water is necessary for the chemical reactions to take place to actually form cement. When we add Bayrad 658, we reduced our filtrate volume to 20 milliliters we maintained a flowable cement slurry. That indicates that we kept the water in the cement. We can place the material and pump the material. Now, with the water in the cement, the chemical reactions can take place that truly give us cement. At Bayroid IDP, we strive to collaborate with our customers and maximize value. If what you've seen in this demonstration has represented some of the past difficulties you've had with cement, please contact us and we'd be happy to talk to you about offering you an engineered solution.